All right, ladies and gentlemen. So apparently this could be not real, um, but I'm gonna make a video on it because I think it's newsworthy. Um, Forbes released an article saying Korean gaming giant Netmarble to launch metaverse and NFT games. And we all know what is supposedly coming or being made. Now, obviously this doesn't refer to Origins. It could be, but I'm not saying it is. Uh, but yeah, anyways guys, hit that like button, subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And let's go into this article um, made by Eunice Lam and then Asia. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, but the blockchain based games made by Netmarble will integrate the enjoyment of games along with intangible assets through NFT, non fundable transactions. If you don't know what that is, let me zoom in actually so you can kind of see a bit better. Uh, how does that work? That, sh that should be better. Um, uh, and I believe that the gaming industry will grow even bigger than it is now. Ben Bong John Hyuk, the billionaire founder and chairman of Netmarble, said in a press conference. From what I can understand from the small things I've seen of NFTs, only rich people like NFTs. You don't get, you don't go from poor to rich. You go from rich to richer. But, you know, the, only the billionaires would know, you know. But uh, in my opinion, I think NFTs are dumb. I don't think it'll do anything for the game. I think it will most likely kill the game, considering all the backlash that the uh, leak for the Black Clover game, apparently having NFTs, like, just kill all hype. But apparently that was fake. So, you know, if there's that, uh, it could have been real. I'm not too sure, but a lot of people said it was fake. Um, but now this isn't referring to specifically Origins. This is referring to right here. Um, announced that Netmarble is preparing to launch 20 new games, of which about 70% will use blockchain technology, which we're assuming blockchain technology is just NFTs. Uh, and they also reference the metaverse, which is Facebook. You, you you don't reference anything of Facebook to try to be mainstream or cool. Facebook is a dying site, okay? Like, nobody uses Facebook. They don't. It's 40-year-old moms connecting with other 40-year-old moms to, to play Candy Crush. To share, hey, I got to level 700. What are you at? 650? You freaking bitch. You suck. That's all it is. That's all it is. Um... One of the new games called A3 Still Alive is a play-to-earn game that allows users to monetize intangible in-game assets such as weapons with cryptocurrency. A3 Still Alive will be Netmarble's first play-to-earn game and is expected to release in March. Um, yeah. I, I know that some good can be good of NFTs. Not a lot, though, from what I've seen. It's just a bunch of art stealing and uh, overpriced JPEGs. Um, I don't know exactly how it works. I don't know how you get the money for it. I don't know. It's just, uh, not too knowledgeable on it. But all I know is that it's very, very bad. So I really hope Origins doesn't go down this way. Because they know that Genshin made a lot of money. So they probably were like, hey, let's do Genshin 2.0 with 7 deadly sins. So, you know, that could be cool. Imagine if they added in PvP uh, later on down the line or something. That would be pretty cool. Um, but And then they're probably also like, oh, well, they already gamble on this game, so why not add more gambling? <laughs> it, it Because you literally gamble with the chance to sell something. It is investing in something that you physically cannot touch or own or see. It is just numbers in the interwebs from what I understand. Um, I, I really hope th this isn't true. I'm praying it isn't because I think a lot of Grand Cross YouTubers are getting burnt out from Grand Cross. As sad as it is. I'm fairly certain 90% of the players that are playing Grand Cross are getting burnt out in terms of the content creators, content creators. Now, obviously, the regular players don't have to do content every day. Otherwise, their channel burns into the ground faster than the Titanic. Burns into the ground with a Titanic. Those were three things that didn't add up, really. But you know what? I'll go with that uh, metaphor. Uh, but yeah, uh, Grand Cross isn't doing the best. I'm pretty sure it's delaying all the content for anniversary, and we're just waiting. We're just like, we got the bird, we got the deer. That's all we've gotten in the past like six months. We got two final bosses and some dog shit towers that took like five minutes to learn how to beat, and then we're over. Um, so yeah, uh, another game called Everybody's Marble Metal World will use metaverse and NFT technologies, allowing players to purchase land in a virtual world. It's just skyblocks from fucking Minecraft. <laughs> what? 
At least Skyblock is fun. Like, I, I like playing that when I used to play Minecraft, but then I got banned on a server for somehow hacking, even though I was just crouching and not falling off a block. But, you know, I won't go into it. But players can also build and trade NFTI's real estate. Free real estate. Netmarble said in a statement, NFTs are digital assets stored on the blockchain. Yeah, the blockchain that certify the authenticity of objects such as music, artwork, and in-game items. I mean, it would be cool if they just did it, you know, like to, like, authenticize it, I guess. But it's not even that. It's just a random number generator to make NFT little JPEG monkeys. That's all I see. Ugh. You're just choosing your freaking like skin for uh what is that game called PUBG? I was watching uh, a PUBG video. It was like the real part of uh PUBG, and it's just them like using like changing their cosmetics. I was like, this this is it. And then the Mordecai and Rugby one, you know, where it's like them going to the nerd store or whatever, and they like change their skins to like do something to like buy more games or something. I can't exactly remember. That's what I thought of. But anyways, um, I'm gonna link this in the uh. Uh, description. You guys let me know down below what you guys think of this. I think it is a terrible idea. I really hope Origins doesn't go down this. I don't care about any of the other games. Those things can all burn in hell. This guy is just trying to make even more billions of dollars because he's greedy and thinks that uh, Genshin is worthy of NFTs. You know, you just can't... Genshin is just far below and unsuperior confirmed or compared to NFTs. NFTs are just the best. The, the, the bomb diggity. The bee's knees. The... What's another joke? Nobody's home. I can't make a joke. But anyways, that's going to be it. Uh, I, I think it's a terrible idea. They shouldn't do this. Hopefully it's not. Link in the description. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Bye-bye.